Hello Gothic friends, so that means my name. Welcome back to the world's let's play of the world, Gothic 2 Liber Edition Harko. In today's episode we were thinking about going to the pirates or just clearing a bit around the, the water mages and I believe the best way would be to clear about the water mages just for a little bit to get some experience and some, some stuffs. So nice that we actually one shot those. Oh, there are more stuffies here. Oh, even more there. We are just gliding down. Very good. Mantis, mantis. Oh, so many mantis. Oh, boy. The aim. We cannot uh, take the treasure spot because we have no pickaxe. We lost it. We will have to get a new one badly and for free. As we one shot a lot of the monsters here, then we are quite safe. Snappers. Oh, lizards, yeah, so many stuff. On the other way, we will not go. On the other side, we will not go down there. So down there we have been. We are going to take all those pets and... Yeah, weird that we get the heads of those monsters here. The mantis. I know what they were good for. Or if there is a, I don't know, a, oh, a bolt we got, an easter egg or something with a mantis head, arrows is perfect, the arrows we cannot complain about. We have 1000 and something arrows for the time being and that is not enough. We go to the next level. Here is a treasure. Sadly, we cannot do anything about it. What with? Yeah, we sold our pickaxe. We might actually have to, to simply buy one. Because there are some quests that require us to have the pickaxe. So, there we have the pickaxe missing. Why isn't any of them here? Maybe we find one somewhere hidden here. Yeah, th this looks a bit weird, this layout of the city. The way it's laid out. So a lot of stuff is not happening behind here, right? Oh, what's that? Meadowberry. Must be very tasty. Crawl potion, okay. I do like to collect everything, as I said. I probably will just off screen collect everything later on. We have two mantis here. Okay, they don't deal a lot of damage because we have the heavy mercenary armor, quite powerful armor. We could have been even more stronger, but as I said, we should enjoy using this armor because normally almost no one buys this armor because they just rush, as I said, a Dragon Hunter armor. And that's also fine, but with that armor you can play a lot longer in comparison with this one. Guess that's it with the plants on this row. We have to go on the second one. Normally up there there are monsters in many different mods. Probably here also. Not sure yet. We will check it out later. Oh my, so many plants. Unbelievable. Damn. 
there are some monsters and we have the William, the guy that died. One from from Karinis. Okay, why did you jump to pick that up? You couldn't pick it from up there. Boy, I see nothing. Yeah, the the fauna, the flora, not the fauna. Sorry, fauna are the monsters. The flora gets quite into the way. And we are up here. Okay, there are no monsters also in this version. The lightning looks very nice for my eyes in this version. And nothing important here. Then we will go down there. So up there there could be something, but we are going to go from the lowest point of the valley to the highest point because the monsters must be here anything behind here just our doom potions okay two potions Laura is in the way to see stuff actually yeah I don't know about that too much is not so great too little is also not beautiful either so here are going to be some monsters but after that we are done with this part i believe for a long wow that that scared me Ooh. nothing to be had there that really scared me i wasn't expecting it here we got a ring We have to eat something. A leather satchel. What kind of ring of the healers? Oh, they have nice graphic. Poker, I don't know what's that good for. Oh boy, we are so low on potions. That guy really scared the hell out of me. Down there, we are not going to do anything. This is the lowest side of the ring that we are going to explore. Here's some lizards, blood flies, well, hornet, another lizard. The hornets, they are going back to sleep, right? I don't know that they actually sleep, or it's just an addition in this version of the game. So here, for example, you see nothing. What's going to happen there? Fall down? So, that way we cleared. Now we go to the next level. I like to do it systematically and clear almost everything out of the way and then we are done with one portion and we don't have to worry about it. Woodland berry, a lot of berries here. Yeah, it's getting quite dark now. Do we have a... What is the... Torch. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, another guy. We have an arrow and a torch. Have we been on this route? I have no clue. Yeah, we have been here was the razor that scared the hell out of me. I'm not someone that really overreacts when there is something happens. Boy, do we find stuff here that are... Ah, there it is, what we needed. William. We got a note from Nothing him. There.
someone was helping the guy to escape. And I guess that's it. There are just some plants that we will check later on, right? No more monsters. Yeah, mushrooms. Sadly, the mushrooms are become useless for the time being. Because we need some scroll to learn, or not a scroll, some potion or something, I don't know, some formula. And something else, it's not just that, I believe. And we need absolutely no mana. We have no spells that require mana. We only have the scrolls, which can easily be used with the most potions that we get with a maximum mana, mana that we get passively increased from some potion and some stuff. That's more than enough. As a paladin, yeah, you would want that. Because... Later on for the skeletons and stuff, which are very annoying to fight with later in the game. Because they can block so much, so there it makes a lot of sense. Is there anything here behind? Nothing. What about inside? Some bolts, uh, why, why no arrows? When I'm thinking like that, I've never really played with crossbow. Always with a bow. Well, we are going to go sleep up there with our friends. We cleared everything around here. There are some plans that we missed, but that's no biggie. Put the torch away, not waste it. Somewhere is a free bed I've seen. Bed. Oh, free bed. Okay, there it is. And now we can finally go to the... I didn't check the time. Six is more than perfect for hunting, for talking with NPCs bad, but... Our hunting is perfect. We will go with Jack to the pirates. And live the pirate life. The yo 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 Jackie Jack. Who Alligator Jack. You? you don't look like the others. What others? Well, the mages who are hanging around these ruins over there. Are you one of that bunch then? Brave thing to run around here by yourself. All oh, right. Need to pull out my list and pickpocket everyone. We can pickpocket everyone without you? thinking. I'm sure I just like to note me before. who we pickpocketed and who we didn't. Alligator Jack, feared all over the country. I'm one of the most dangerous pirates around here. Together with Captain Greg, I've boarded more merchant vessels than I can count. You're looking at a living legend here. Are you? Do you know a fellow named Raven? Of course. He's the leader of the bandits to the east. What's your business with him? We want to join him. I've got no. to kill him. <laughs> what? You? How are you going to do that? Isn't that guy way out of your league? You won't even get close to him. The bandits he surrounded himself with will skin you alive first. You won't even get past their first outpost. The way you look, those bandits will get itchy fingers when they spot you a mile away. I've got a better idea. Come and join us. That'll give you time to think about it. Once you've tried You're quite friendly for a pirate. Rum, things will look very different. I need a bandit's armor. What would you do with that? It'll only get you into trouble if you're seen with it. Everyone's going to take you for a bandit, and they will try to kill you. Most likely. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? We used to have one in our pirate camp. But I don't know whether it's still there. Your captain's name is Greg? Right. He's the greatest pirate the sea ever spawned. I think I know your captain. I met him in Corinus. <laughs> He's a crybaby. Greg, in Corinus. Nonsense. Greg is out at sea after booty with some of the lads. What kind of booty? The only thing that could bring Greg to Corinus would be one of the king's prison galleys. He's one of the most wanted men in the land. He'd never march into town voluntarily and have the royal guard throw him into prison. If you say so. 
Where's your pirate camp? See the cave passage over there. Go through it and continue west, and you'll come to our beach sooner or later. That's where our log huts are. I can take you there if you want. If you do me a favor, first, Dill. And what would that be? I'll have to get the boys some meat before I can go back to camp. You're a strong fellow. I could use your help hunting. Interested? Tell me more about you pirates. Yeah, we don't know anything We've about you guys. For years. Back before the war, everyone knew us from here to the mainland. Our flag alone would spread terror among the crews of merchant vessels. But those times are past now. It's been weeks since we've run into a merchant vessel. Our Captain Greg left to try and catch another. The rest of us are sitting here in camp, twiddling our thumbs until he comes back. I hope he'll bring back lots of booty. Kind of booty once more. What is it you hunt? Only alligators usually. But they're no good for eating. And there aren't any left around here anyway. So I take what I can find. Swamp rats. What? Most beasts around here taste like old socks. Or they're as tough as alligator meat. Those fat swamp rats are the only thing that is remotely edible. Let's go hunting. All right. With two people, that's child's play. Are you ready? Of course. Yes. Great. Just stay right behind me. Oh, so that is really true. Once they join our party, they their health is written with blue in this version. Or I don't know if it's the version or it's some sort of a mod. One less monster. Yep. More than one. We have to kill some monsters, otherwise he's going to say that we are useless. We can beat also all the pirates for our gain, but we need them. That we are going to go with them to hunt into the canyon. That's bad, see? We hit Jack. Yeah, that's quite bad. Oh, Greg. Uh, uh, Jack. We can two shot you, three shot you. Yeah, we are quite powerful. We hit like a truck. For some reason, we got too strong. The beginning is a. Bow person is hard. There should be some of those beasts around here. Follow me. So let's follow him. He knows what he's doing, right? Oh, little bit of lag. We are stuck with why? I was afraid of that. What? This handful of beasts here is only about half of what I need. Now we'll have to enter the canyon. Yes, let's get even more. Watch out. It's very dangerous deeper down in the canyon. If you hold your life dear, stay very close to me. What is there in the canyon? Yeah, you we'll scared us now. That area if it's at all possible. That's where you'll find razors. Tough beasts, those. Stay we slain away one. If you want to live another day. Fine, let's go. All right. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't be bad to... to increase our dexterity because we could one-shot them then. I believe they have 10 health left. A better bow would be better. We might have make a trip to the Corinis. Come on. 
Yeah, let's talk with this guy before he's gone. You're not from around here, are you? You nope. seem to have traveled far. Busy? Don't even ask. Henry wants me to chop down all the trees here. Henry? He's the leader of our troop. He stands around at the camp entrance all the time, talking big. More dedicated service to the community and all that crap. But you don't like him, I guess. Finger himself. Where's your camp? Just continue down this path here to the west. You'll see Henry standing there soon enough. Henry is your leader? Yes, the leader of our raiding Is Jack troops. still there? Our captain is Greg, but he's not here at the moment. I need to move on. Hey, when you get to our camp, give Henry a message from me. The trees around here are damn stubborn. He'll have to wait for his wood a while longer. Tell him that. Ah, Jack is dead. Okay. We will tell him, don't you worry. Ooh, the alligator Jack is almost dead. Doesn't have healing or anything. What's up with him? Yeah, we hit him by mistake. Okay, he can heal himself. That's very good. Oh, he's full health. Perfect. Is that it? I saw some desert rats there. Well done. We can use someone like you. You brought down one of those beasts on your first hunt. Not bad. Only Here, one. Take this swamp rat meat to Lazy Old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. You'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe hey, noted. that will make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy too. Can you teach me something? Sure, I'm a good hunter and I can show you how to skin animals and pull their teeth. I'll teach you if you like. Yeah, teach us something. Teach me. What is it you want to learn? Okay. Not that for sure. If you're looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean. Okay, we'll do that. So let's kill the rats that are here. The desert rats. Why? Stop missing. This is a bit weird, the way that the uh, arrows are being stuck into the air okay that's it so another teleporter we can activate it go to the mages and then walk back again and collect and kill the rest of the stuff that are left there yeah that wouldn't be bad I've activated another one of the 500 experience that's Give me the next focus. that's very sweet of course here it is was it difficult no it depends all. on how you look at it I could use a bit of support I could give you some gold would that help it couldn't hurt let's see here are a few gold coins oh by the way before I forget Saturas would like to talk to you again you should see him as soon as possible what does the guy want again we could teleport to the canyon again, but we can walk. There are some monsters that we can kill on the way back. And level up, yeah. It is good you came. We have new discoveries that we must share with you. Like? Then let's hear it. The sunken city once bore the name of Jarkandar. There were five rulers in the city who shared the power over their people. Each of these rulers had a mansion where he lived and kept his belongings. Therefore, in your search for the relics of the ancient culture, it is crucial that you should search through these mansions. We will. Where should I look for these mansions? Riordan has studied the structure of the buildings in Jarkandar. 
He will tell you where you should look for the mansions. What if these mansions no longer exist? If you cannot find the houses, then they presumably sank with the city. However, should they still exist, they would be of inestimable value for our studies. So even more stuff you want me to do for they you guys. Must protect you. You little cowards. Start doing something. Walk away from here a bit. You guys want us to do everything and uh, we just bring it to you and you read it. Oh, what's up? We just killed those things here. I mean, we cleared it. Nice, we did level up. That's very good. So, I don't know. The jack can teach us bow. We have to increase our bow to at least level 60. We need strength for the other bow, so... Ooh, ooh, what should we do, actually? Yeah, there is a potion there, see? Hidden. A lot of hidden stuff here. This is the way back where we went with the uh, Greg. Not the Greg with the alligator jack. It's not very far away, it's not packed with lots of monsters, only it's up here, but we are not going to take that route yet. We have a cave that with a shadow beast that we can take. And that we are going to do. And uh Okay, probably change of plans again. For that there is a treasure. And for the treasure, what do we need? A pickaxe, and we have none. Where can we get a pickaxe? Without really paying for... Yeah, there's no way, no point to go into the cave. And I have no clue what should we do. Learn strength? Oh, meat box. You can see you guys. We also should learn one-handed sword to at least fight her for the skeletons. There is so much stuff to learn. The Malcolm, we know that he's going to die, so we could uh, we could kill him and get his experience. Not kill him, but beat him to get his experience. Oh, look at you guys! Wow. Yeah, I believe we are going to jump down through the can uh, through the water after that. A oh, leather satchel there, really? Oh boy, bandits! At least we won't shot the guys, and we didn't lose the mantis. Because we are quite strong, apparently. We didn't really expect that. We hear more mantis. Let's kill those before they gang on us up from somewhere. So what's up with the heads? Why do we take their heads? Oh, look there. Is this into the ground or what? Looks like it. But we took its head. Lots of heads. Yeah, different kind of heads, but... Normally this is quite hard. This part is very hard. But not for us, apparently. So do we have anything here left? Yeah, there we might get stuck. Luckily, if we can get stuck, we can always... Oh no, we have no teleports here. Bow? Ash bow, okay. The guys are looted clean. So lucky. Oh boy. What those bandits store here is nothing. I believe up here is nothing, right? Yeah, I never got it white. There is nothing here. They are quite cheap, but not as cheap as in the Gothic one. In the Gothic one, they are quite cheap without caves and powers and stuff. If you get a potion, then 
Be glad. Is this a free bed? Or are they going to say I don't want to get any problems? Just curious. Okay. Not going to sleep. Just wanted to check it if it's really marked as private to someone or just free for all. What about here? Is here something or we wasted time for nothing? Up here should be something. Oh, look at that. Looks so beautiful. I believe there is nothing there, like for real, but we got up here, so. Is this one that the way to go up? Like, really, look here. Why did we get here if there is nothing? Also, why, why didn't we learn acrobatics? We have 150 dexterity. Do we need a dexterity to be... Oh, we are lagging. Be natural dexterity? Might be. How much strength do we have? 10? 20? 23? 44, that's not enough. We need 6 strength. Then we could use those... Uh, Rings, scrolls, no, the rings, the amulets and stuff to pump up our dexterity or strength to the 50 and just learn magic. So I guess that's a good way. That means we will have to just learn 5 strength. Yeah, we might do that. We might do that. Oh, right, we said that we, well, we didn't say, but we know that we have to get up down there. We have to get down here. But into the water. Is there a way to get down there? Real, like for real in water? Oh, what's here? Some stuff hidden. Okay. And now. Nice, we manage it. I forgot that we had to do that before. Well, we will need those two guys. Angus. Sadly, we cannot take their weapons. I don't get it. Why? And Hank. But why cannot we get their weapons? That's a bit weird. We got a letter or something. I find it very hard to be able to read whatever they say there, so whoever wants to read it can always pause the video and just read it. Here should be one more monster, right? Lizard! Here should be some goodies, somewhere hidden. Yeah, arrows. This was from us, but the other oh and the long bow, okay. Good, good. Now we can enter the pirates camp. Yeah. Lots of exercise is good for the health. Can say that once more. Oh, another arrow from us. We really need the pickaxe. We have to get a pickaxe from somewhere somehow. Malcolm, I don't know, should we beat Malcolm because he's going to be wasted anyway. But now we said we want to play immersively. Like the guy didn't do anything to us, so there is no reason for us to beat him. Unless we are a rogue mercenary. Very mean one. Then we could have done something. But let's just advance our story. Here are a lot of stuffs. Alligator Jack, aren't you here? Oh, there he is. We cannot take his spells. 
but his seven arrows we are going to accept and take them. Thank you very much for your donation. Mr. Alligator, Jackie Jack. And here we have the Henry guy. We managed to finally get to the pirates. Let's see if we can gain access to it. Oh, it looks different now. Oh, of course. Rent for the less amount of money. Money. Your wallet first. I want in there. Really, that'll cost you though. Five hundred gold pieces. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. For what? Don't make such a fuss. There's plenty of stuff here in camp that might interest you. You got some gold, haven't you? Hmm. What are you doing here? What first? are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't. Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. We can do the same. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. Greg's your boss? He sure is. And it's Captain Greg to you. Have I made myself... Sir, yes, sir. He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. What are you building the power yeah, right. for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good for nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But Not that's anymore. an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Nothing. Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here. They marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now... Those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with them and barely got away with his life. Skip is here. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll after all. About those bandits in the tower. Yeah, we did them yes. in. Yes their history did you pull that off all by yourself respect maybe you'll even be a real pirate someday can't we come to an agreement somehow yeah we can get for free inside reason and i might make it cheaper for you i'm supposed to bring morgan this meat Aha. and who sent you alligator jack he says that morgan is already waiting for it i see not in the mood himself, is he? Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great. I might have known. It's taken forever again. You have trees here. Cut them from here. I've got a delivery here for Skip. Is he here? Yeah, Skip is here. And now? Let me in. Mm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. You got a package for Skip. And best of all, you got that vomit in the tower off our backs. I never thought you could do it all by yourself. Well, tell you what, now you, you know what we can do. Free. And that's the way to get into the camp. So we are going to make a cut here. We are going to enjoy the exploring of the camp a little bit. Because it looks different now. And then we shall see where we are headed next. So thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.